Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steffi if you're new here and I'm here to unbox the October P. Louise budget box for 2023. I'm currently still waiting for November which is stuck at customs and I'm currently filming this on January 1st, January 3rd and they've just shipped the December one so we're a bit behind say the least but that's what you, that's what happens when you live abroad and you don't live in the UK currently so without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the P. Louise October budget box um, obviously sometimes you can get sneak peeks over on TikTok on the other platform and they share with you the sneak peeks if you don't want to see them you just have to skip along I find it exciting to know what I'm getting and this one was was no exception so I'm just trying to move the box away to the side so I can actually go through the contents with you. So the first one is one of the palettes um, from their new collection. If I'm not mistaken, this is AMTPM. And this one is called You Give Me Butterflies. It, the palette is for eyes and face. You guys know what I'm going to say. There's one shade that can be used around the eyes. Two, four, six, eight, nine shades that are not for use around the eyes can't believe i'm sharing this again on another video but the one with the one dot can be used around the eyes the rest are not suitable so again it's one of those things with p louise's palettes they're gorgeous but i'm not understanding why there's so many of them that can't be used so this one is the pink one and it's actually called totally toadstool Again, yeah, gorgeous names, gorgeous packaging. Um, unfortunately, on the actual palette itself, if you don't keep the box, you won't know that they're not supposed to be intended for the eyes. These are the shades for the pink one, um, which again are gorgeous. So the one that's only allowed to be used on the eyes is this, this one right over here. This is the only one that can be used around the eyes. The rest are only suitable for the face, which is such a shame because these are gorgeous shades. Again, I totally understand the reasoning. These are dark, intense mica, probably pigment, pigment mica used, and they probably do stain the eyes. That's the only thing I can think of because they're pigmented, and not only that, they're bright. So that's that one. Again, they'll probably cause staining to the eyelids. And obviously without having this on the packaging, at least you're aware of which ones are suitable and which ones aren't. Again, I'm curious about the other shades and the other colors. There was different colors. There was the blue, there was a yellow, there was an orange, if I'm not mistaken, and the green. I'm sure there was five in total of these. And this one is the pink one. We did get this one, which I was so excited to receive, which is called the Finishing Touch. Again, this is from the P. Louise Skin. This was in the pink color, and there was a green one, if I'm not mistaken. And this one's called Butterfly Heart. Now, this one, um, again, is something that I was very excited to try, because this is like an all-over body glow. And I'm just going to show you guys the shimmer. The shimmer for me, in my opinion, is like a hollow iridescent silver but with if i'm not mistaken it's like green flex just gonna put some on the back of my hand like it's gorgeous you need a tiny bit and this is great for bridal going out nights out it's got like pink pink green iridescent hollow and this is gorgeous all over the decollete wherever you want to add a bit of glow on the skin so again gorgeous product i'm very happy with this i had this feeling that she introduced this in one of her new collections as well hence why it was in the budget box again stellar product i'm very happy to have this one in this box not only that i was hoping to get something but this one the packaging itself is simply gorgeous and this is just great by itself as a Christmas gift as well if you did get this one in time 
and it's upside down there you go isn't that gorgeous i'm sure she had them for sale um individually so this is the believe in the bristles brush set again this is a pack of if i'm not mistaken 20. um i will double check but it doesn't say anywhere on the box how many you get but on the side it does say this little quote which is getting glam takes a few ingredients and just a pinch of trust believing in the bristles before you fluffy fibers are a must like i love how much detail she goes into with her design crew and i just love the colors the green and pink it reminds me of my sister's new shop because she's literally all pink and green um again gorgeous packaging and obviously you've got the carton and then you've got the actual box with the brushes that they come into again magnetic closer similar to the last palette that we got for september was it was it? yeah i think it was september so i'm guessing mirror on the side i think this is a 20 pack again she did and um, page herself confirmed that no brushes are the same <clears throat> so any brushes that you might have purchased from her um if it comes new are not part of that one you're not gonna get any duplicates you'll always get new brushes Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I've missed. Oh, there's first twenty. So there's eighteen full size, and then there's one that's a double. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I am thinking there's more eye eye shadow. Um, brushes then there are face i can count one two three four five six six seven maybe about seven brushes that were up there in the face and the rest are eyes again gorgeous product gorgeous present alone if you want to give a gift to someone who likes makeup this is such a gorgeous gift product like honestly even this in a box wrapped up i would be happy with just getting this one p louise just outdoes it with her packaging honestly the packaging is by far one of my favorites and there's no doubt that anyone receiving a p louise product is going to be happy with the we're going to be happy with it just even just for the packaging itself so again as we always do which product has been one of my favorite for this month? I'm obsessed with brushes, makeup brushes, so I have to say that it's makeup brushes for this one. I'm very excited to receive the November box. Again, as I'm saying, as I'm filming this is, at the moment, it is January. I was very late to record this one, um, but I'm getting it up for you guys. Um, I have yet not received it. It's been in customs for a couple of weeks, but obviously with Christmas, I kind of presumed it would take longer to be released. So hopefully by the end of the month, I'll be able to receive it, film, and have it up for you as, as soon as possible, as well as the December one, which obviously will take a bit longer when everything gets out of customs and arrives. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did and subscribe. And if you're new here, I hope you stay and it'll stay a while and go through some of the old videos. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a lovely day, we have you on the world. And I'll see you shortly.